After almost eight decades in business, a family owned staple of a tight knit Philadelphia neighborhood is closing its doors. Dan's Fresh Meats in Fishtown has stood for 77 years now, and as its owner closed up shop one last time today, some faithful but forlorn customers came by to wish him well and sneak in one last order. Teronda Thomas takes us there tonight. Too small Italian. It's the kind of place with regulars who know what they want. Who needs to order? His Italians, his hot roast beef, his hot roast pork, and his meatballs. We make them with uh, tender, loving care. The secret ingredient that brings everyone in today. It's been chaotic. Because today is actually the last day for Dan's Fresh Meats in Fishtown. A lot of people are sad to see him go. Um, as well as I am. Really sad for us. What happened to you? Dan Tochi's father started a butcher shop in 1947 and moved to this location in 1950. We had groceries, we had uh, frozen foods. I'm coming around to get a picture with you. Back in those days, Fishtown looked a lot different. This was a good community. It was primarily Polish and Irish people in Fishtown here. Over the decades, things have changed and challenges have come, like last week. We had a break-in and they stole all my capicola, all my Genoa salamis. Pick up Avery. But that's not why Tochi is closing. I'm 87 years old. I've been here all my life since I was 13. And I, I think it's time. The building is already sold. I have no idea what it's going to be. Before he closes up shop. So lettuce, onion, oil vinegar. A few hundred more hoagies. And we made about 100 sandwiches so far, about five, one o'clock. Too much demand for the deli. Guys, we're going to close for a half hour. We're out of rolls. But loyal customers stay lined up for one last taste. I think he's a wonderful man. I'm, uh, I'm going to miss him. The shelves are mostly cleared. I'll be here uh, for the next week or so, straightening things out. Then for this fish town staple, it's goodbye for good. You know, all good things come to an end. So what's next for Mr. Dan? Well, he says he will take time to enjoy his model train collection and spend his summers on Long Beach Island. In Fishtown, Taronda Thomas, Channel 6 Action News.